Hi, my name is Dan Oswalt, and I model the Southern Railway, the R Line, and the W Line going through North End and South Carolina. My layout is located inside Southern Railway's caboose X617 that we purchased from the town of Mineta back in the early 2000s. We moved it to our farm, and then recently in 2013, we moved it again to my residence, and I completely gutted the inside and redid all the furnishings inside, floors, walls, new insulation, air conditioning, and that's what I put my layout in. Let's go take a look. Like I said before, I modeled the Southern Railway Sluter Grade, and the Sluter Grade is a 4.7 to 5% grade, continuously going uphill for almost three miles. And I represent that starting here at the bottom with mail rows and then including the runaway safety track. And I have a climb for 42 feet and it ends at the top of Saluda. I modeled the Southern Railway due to the fact that the caboose itself has southern heritage and I wanted to keep everything inside within the time frame of 75 to 1982 of the Southern Railway before the merger and even growing up as a kid I would still see some of the Southern Railway locomotives going up and down the tracks where I live and one of the things I always saw growing up were these carbon cars made by scale trains. Up the road is Michelin Tire in Lexington and they have a passenger and an earth mover section and then south in Aiken Bridgestone has a passenger tire plant and so I've always seen these cars go up and down the lines not far from me and the greatest thing about scale trains is that they have an air Pacific cars everything's highly detailed comes straight with the roller bearing trucks beautiful models and I also have some of their SD40-2s and they are great smooth running locomotives, very great operational, highly detailed, just beautiful models and that's one reason why I'm really excited about the new announcement for the Southern Railway SD45s in the Southern Scheme because they were a staple in their time for the V20 engine with 3600 horsepower they were just brute monsters for their period lots of people would say that they sounded like thunder going up and down the tracks and I just can't imagine what they would have sounded like going up and down the Saluda mountain um, it's something that you know we'll never see, get to see again but I can represent that here on my layout one day. I highly recommend you looking into these SD45s that Scale Trains is going to come back out with. With the quality of the locomotives and their customer relations, they're always at shows doing great videos on YouTube of how they build their models and what all goes into them. And if you ever need anything from them, you send an email and they're back at you in no time. I want to thank y'all for watching this video and taking a quick tour of the Southern Railway's Caboose at 617.